where we had people ask us questions on Instagram for Andy and myself, and we're gonna go ahead and answer them for y'all. You ready? Let's do it. <laughs> okay, first question. Do we have any travel plans for this summer? Is that, is that my answer or your Anybody? answer? Whatever. I think we have a couple, and Belinda's the one that usually does all the travel plans and everything i just sit back and i just listen to all her ideas <laughs> how much everything costs this and that so i know we got a cruise planned yes uh we're going see i don't even know where we're going i know we're going to be on a ship in the ocean somewhere we're leaving from miami going to the bahamas and to mexico i believe where else are we going this summer Okay, so for... Just putting me on the spot, see how much, <laughs> how much I really pay attention. Okay, so for 4th of July, we're going to <coughs> Marble Falls for a few days. And then we have a lake house in Granbury a few weeks before that. Apparently doesn't even know. What else? I think that's it. Was it? So far, I think that's it. I have a few day trips that I want to take during the summer, but nothing crazy. Uh, what else? Who drives when you travel? This guy right here because I have to entertain the kids, so he has to drive. And anytime I drive, he goes to sleep and he wakes up freaking out because that's just how he is. Every blue moon, Belinda would drive for like 30 minutes, <laughs> and then such a liar. one of the kids starts crying, and I'm like, just give me the freaking wheel. Okay, well, yeah, and you guys most of the time. How long have y'all been together? 14 years, married 13. Something like that. We met in 2006. Yeah. Got married in 2008. Yep. Yeah. So that's how long we've been together. Uh, how'd y'all meet? Whoa. Well, uh, <laughs> next question. No. How'd you meet? MySpace. MySpace days. Yes. Andy, Chat, chatting on MySpace. And Andy reached out on MySpace. She wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> Finally accepted her. Started talking. She begged for a date. So I gave her. <laughs> Michael likes to say I did his homework so that he could hook me up with his brother, so I guess Mike hooked us up. Any more kids? No, I think we're done. I'm fixing to be 41. Uh, Avery was like the best kid in the world. This one's the uh, second best kid in the world, but no, we're done. She's a good kid. She's just very adventurous. She's very needy of her mama. As y'all can tell. Uh... How did y'all get into business? Well, it's always been a dream of mine uh, to do to start a welding company, but you know, really and truly, Belinda made it happen. Um, she comes from business. For me, it was just a dream, but um, I mean, it's been something I've always wanted to do all my life. Yeah. So my whole my family's been in business since I was a little bitty, and Andy always wanted to do business, so it just kind of worked out perfectly well for us. We, I feel like we do business well together. Um, we bring something to the table, each one of us, I feel like. So that's that. Who spends the most money? <laughs> no. Well, besides horses, <laughs> no. if you scratch horses out of the way, Belinda beats me by far. No, I shop the most, but you spend the most money in one sitting. No matter what, anywhere we go, he'll spend the most money in one. one. I gotta make up for our, her dailies, you know? I let her spend daily and then I just wait once a month and I'll make my, I'll catch up to her, so. So I do shop a lot, but the majority of it is for the house, for YouTube, for whatever it is, but Andy definitely will go and outdo me by buying one horse. Oh, well, she gets an Amazon box, box or daily. two every day, box so. Or three, or four. Anyways, who is the most social? Andy, by, by far. far. <laughs> I am an introvert by far. I like to stay home. I mean, I'll go out, but I'm not very, I'm very shy. I'm a very, very shy person and Andy is not shy at all. Yeah, I'm trying to break her out of her box for 13 years and she's finally, finally coming out of it. But yeah, I'm by far the most social. Yes. Is Andy as organized as you? Mm. I would say I am. I'm a very neat freak, but I mean, you know, I get home, I throw my stuff on the floor, but as far as like my closet needs to be color coded and my long sleeves need to be one spot, my short sleeves need to be another spot. I let Belinda do it every once in a while and I just like, ah, I don't like it that way, but 
Of course, she's a lot neater than I am, but we're both neat freaks. So in my opinion, if you see my office at the end of the day, I have to put everything back in its place. And if you see Andy's office, you have to dig to find anything. So I but, would say no. But you do see everything in the shelf yes. as I want it. My walls are as I want them. My desk, yeah, I'm not crazy about it, but I need an, uh, an assistant. He has very many assistants. Myself, Delicia, Julissa, Michael sometimes. <laughs> I need yes. a personal assistant. Plenty of assistants. Um, do y'all always plan to live in Fort Stockton or do y'all plan on moving away? Yeah. Ooh, tough question. We've actually put a lot of thought into this. Um, next, short term, we're going to be here. Long term, I would like to move. I would love to move, but my roots kind of got me rooted. So, you know, we're looking. We're definitely... Uh, gonna buy a second home not in Fort Stockton and take it from there so if you ask me like yes I would love to move my parents are the ones that keep me here hundred percent because they're very helpful with the kids and of course just family in general both of our families are here um, if I could take the entire family with me brothers included we would be gone tomorrow not because we don't like Fort Stockton but we just feel like Closer to Dallas is so beautiful, so that's kind of where we would like to be. Um, there's a town called Granbury that we were looking at, and that's probably where we would aim for, but like Andy said, not tomorrow, maybe someday. What else? All right, so last question. What do I enjoy most about his horse racing business? Well. <laughs> uh, none. Definitely. When they're done. <laughs> yes, definitely not the money that goes into it. Definitely not the purchasing it um as much as andy doesn't think so i mean i like going to the horse races i like seeing him happy seeing him happy of course would be the the number one thing um we've had a hard time getting some wins but anytime he does get a win it makes him extremely happy so seeing him happy oh Ayla, by far would be the best and i think that's it Is there anything you do want to no, you're good. Okay. I look well, forward to doing this again, so get y'all's questions ready. Well, thank you so much for coming along and watching us and asking us some questions. I know it's a very short video, but it is what it is. We didn't have to stop so much. And make sure to subscribe and like this video so y'all can get some more like it. Until next time, guys. See y'all. Okay, bye. Bye.